Right, we're back guys. What a load of carp. We're on my local lake in Westbury. Um, I'm buzzing to be back. Um, I've got myself super prepared for this and um, we've seen some fish showing already. And uh, just a quick shout out to my brother Jamie. Thanks very much to making sure I got her okay. Used his car to get me over, which is brilliant. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get her otherwise. Um, but yeah, back on that point, super prepared. I have uh, got some pellets, all in PVA bags. I got some key stick mix and PVA, uh, PVA mesh, key boily in PVA mesh, and some key stick mix in PVA bags. That's not all. I've also uh, brought myself some pellets, which are cell pellets, which are soaked in goo off eBay. Bargain, eight quid for 50 of them. Saves me doing it. Brilliant. And uh, of course we uh, are going to be fishing with the key today on one rod. Not much of that left, so I uh, better get my ass in gear and buy some more. Alright, that's not all. Been busy on the bait front. Now if you've watched any of my old videos, you'll know that um, a lot of the stuff I've caught over here has been on the cell. So, it would have been rude not to buy some cell. Now, this area, which you can't see, which is beyond the camera, is a spot which I fished last year, surface fishing quite a lot, um, with cat biscuit, and um, didn't film in this location last year, because I want to keep it a bit of a, a, bit of a shush, because it was nice, it was um, secluded, it was out of the way. Um, but yeah, so I'm here now, because I want to do a night on it. But um, I've become prepared as well. First time trying it. Brought myself some riser pellet. Why not, eh? Got to give it a chance, see if it works here. I've also got myself some slicker floaters. All right. So, I'm all set. I'm all ready to go to get my fish on. Um, can't wait. The weather's nice. It's supposed to be nice this evening. So uh, I might be lucky and avoid the rain. Um, doing two nights. So I'm doing tonight where I am tonight here, obviously, today. And uh, I'm also, uh, Jamie's coming over tomorrow and we're then gonna be moving over to the roadside uh, and using the double swims over there and uh, have a bit of a social. But um, Pucker, I've got a little Robin eye on my bait up. So um, I'm sure he'll be on film later. Actually, he's the second one I've seen today. Um, but yeah, anyway, back to the fishing. Um, I'm buzzing, I can't wait. So uh, I'll um, just get my rigs on and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Right guys, I'm back, so uh, let's get onto the rigs and I'll show you what I'm using today. So let's uh, start with the leads. Um, I've got a new gentleman to buy me of my leads, um, so I'll be looking forward to my new order. Very happy with them, they're really good. Um, his name is Screaming Delkins, you can find him on YouTube, so have a search, subscribe to him. He's got some good content on there, alright? Um, and you can also order your leads from him as well, which is a bonus, alright? Let him know that uh, what a load of carp is sent you his way. All right, so let's uh, get onto the bait. So we've got some key boily in a PVA mesh as a stick. All right, some free offerings. Also got um, a key boily as the main bait as well. And uh, just over the um, boily as well, I've decided to try uh, the key frozen paste as well. So I just give it an extra little bit of an edge by wrapping it around the boily. So uh, we'll see if that works. Uh, if it does, then I'll buy some more. If it doesn't, then I won't buy any more, obviously. All right, so we'll give that a shot. So that's uh, my first rig. Um, the actual hooking arrangement itself, I'll come back to that later on and I'll let you know what all that is. It's a, um, I wouldn't say it's, I wouldn't say that it's a rig which I've designed. Um, I'm sure there's someone out there who's done the same or something very very similar but it was a case of being sat on the sofa one night and thinking oh let's try that and see if that works and um, I brought it out on my first session and I caught a fish within about 15-20 minutes on that rig so um, it's given me some confidence to use it this evening so we'll come back and show you that later on anyway let's get the other rig ready and then we can get the rods out Parker. Right guys, I'm back. So uh, rig number two. So what are we doing here then? Right, so mentioned about uh, making my own unique rig. Um, same again on this one applies. This time 
I'm going to have a, a cell boilie um, with a key stick mix with a bit of goo on it. Um, not sure if you can see, I'll try and bring it closer to the camera. Uh, but this boilie has got a little white bit of polystyrene on it. Now it's not a white boilie, it's polystyrene. And it's been soaked in um, mainline response flavouring, uh, pineapple, for a few weeks. Thought I'd give it a try. It doesn't dissolve, which is good. Um, and it might just pop the bait up a little bit. So we're uh, trying that one out tonight, see if that works. If it does, in the bag I've got some strawberry ones to go in as well. And um, always, uh, always, and also some Zigbug soaked ones as well. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed they will work out. So uh, let's get this one out, shall we? And see what happens. Pucker. I've only been here five minutes and I made a new friend already. He's uh... Ooh, what was that? He's been helping me eat some of my boilies I don't want anymore. So uh, he's happy. He's had something to eat. I think he's going to go off and find his girlfriend now or boyfriend, whichever it is. Yeah, he's been pestering me for ages. Uh, yeah. He's only been gone five minutes and he's back already. I'll have to start giving him a name, I reckon. There is a resident goose on here called, who we like to call Gary. Um, I've not seen him yet, but I'm sure he'll pay me a visit at some time. But I think we're going to have to name this one as well. He's ever so friendly. He's, he must be hungry. I don't know how, though. He's just had loads of oilies. Fatty. Anyway, back to the fishing. Right, guys, um, let's quickly show you these uh, new leads then, shall we? From Screaming Delkins. He does lots of different types of leads, um, all different coatings. Um, like I said, see his YouTube channel and you can see what he does. Uh, he sends them in a bag for you, obviously. Um, I've had some inline ones done and some pair ones done. Uh, so, just trying to get them to view. There it says a pair one, or a dumpy pair, I think he calls them. Yeah, nice little coating on that. I think it's the dung coating. It's good. And then, uh, you got the inline. And, uh, of course, he supplies you the inline tubes as well to go in and the stop and the rubber all right so yeah um, I'd highly recommend them they're good leads so um yeah give them an ad on Facebook uh, Chris Delkims and also find him on YouTube screaming Delkims give his video a like his channel also subscribe and uh, yeah see you in a bit don't know if you've just seen that out of shot. I was just uh, doing a nice bit of quiet video and uh, a dog walker's come along with his dog and his dog is almost by centimetres took a duck. A bit of action for you there. Not quite excited then when he seen those ducks. The duck was very lucky to get away. Welcome back guys, uh, we've had our first fish this evening and it was on the, uh, the rig with the uh, Craig Boilie on with the paste around it, so I'm happy. It's got a result on the first cast. We've got ourselves a little zippling. Let's have a look at him. Oh. Alright, so he's lovely. Not going to weigh him, going to put him straight back. Pleasure. Thank you very much, Parker. Morning. So throughout the night I was getting plenty of liners, but I wasn't getting any takes, so I was a bit concerned. So I changed the rig to, rigs over. Um, I'll show you what rig I was using to land me this common. Um, a better one as well, so I'm happy. There we go. Got yourself a nice common carp. So uh, that's brilliant, that is. And I'll show you the rig in a moment. Paka. All right, guys, welcome back. Um, so I'll quickly show you the rig. Um, it's a famous Ronnie rig. Uh, first time I've tried it, and uh, first cast out on it, and it's caught me a fish, which is brilliant. Uh, what it is, is I've got a krill um, wafter. Sorry, guys. The bait I was using was 
a krill sticky bait dumbbell with a plastic bit of corn on top. So I'm happy with that, that's good. First time I've used that rig and it's caught me a fish. So brilliant, let's see if we can have some more. So just an update for you, the uh, common carp was £11.4 ounces. So yeah, low double, so that's uh, good work for the night, two fish, can't complain. So uh, yeah, let's get back to it. Right guys, number three, um, another mirror carp. Again on the uh, new rigs I put out this morning. <coughs> There's a sticky bait dumbbell topped with a red bit of corn. Here we go guys, lovely little mirror carp. Let's put him straight back. Alright guys, got number four here, another mirror carp, a little bit bigger than the last one. I reckon he's going to be about nine or ten pounds. I will weigh him in a moment. There we go, look. Lovely little mirror carp. Perfect. And again, that fell on the uh, sticky bait. Topped off by some red corn. Right guys, I was bang on the money. It was nine pounds and it was on the um, sticky bait. Uh, dumbbells topped off with a yellow bit of corn, not the red, as I first said. All right, uh, so yeah, there you go. So there's a few more. Lovely weather. This is the uh, fifth fish of the session and uh, Rebecca's turned up and she's caught her first ever common carp. Well done babe, you happy to catch your first fish? Yeah, although I'm really worried. You're really worried? Well let's get him back, let's not keep him out too long. Yeah. Alright, paka. Morning guys, it's day three. Um, since I last spoke to you I had another two fish. Um, both of them come last night and uh, one of them was to the cell and the other one was to the key. Um, so both baits worked, uh, that was both boilies, the, um, the cell was tipped off with a bit of yellow corn, so that was the result. Um, but after that it went quiet, uh, the biggest of the two was £13.9. Uh, I've got some pictures, um, but no video of them, purely because it was too dark, it was in the middle of the night. Um, it was just a, a bit awkward getting the camera set up and putting through the fish all out of stress, so just took a couple of quick pictures and popped them straight back. Uh, they've obviously been laying up all winter though because one of them come in and um, Sorry, but I thought the camera stopped then. Yeah, they've obviously been laying up all winter because one of them had a massive leech on it I've never seen a leech so big in my life and it uh, really took some blood out of that fish Well, nothing in comparison to the size of the fish, but it was a lot of blood coming out on the mat uh, and, the, and the leech was there evident <laughs> full up anyway um, I'm going to get my rods back out again. I've got one out at the moment which I'm just going to bring back in. Um, I'm just going to go out a bit further. If you can see that yellow boy, that's what I'm going to try and aim for. Just show you what I'm going to be using. Different tactic this morning. So, um, put a heavier three ounce lead on. And I've got a bag full of key stick mix. And I've got a nice Nash pink pop-up on there and that's a key pop-up 
Um, so I'm just going to give it a good wang out over to the other side. I've already marked it on my um, on my clip. So hopefully, first time it goes straight over, and uh, we might get a result on it because we watched them yesterday afternoon when they were cruising all up there. So yeah. All right, guys, catch you up in a bit. No better way to end your last day on the lake by having a lovely bacon sandwich. Can't wait to scoff that down. I'm starving. Absolutely starving. Anyway, Rob's the back out. See what happens, eh?